the greatest integer less than or equal to x. That makes me want to draw a number line and kind of go from left to right on that number line and stop at the last integer before I get to x, unless x itself is an integer, and then I would just stop at x. But if x is in between integers, I'm going from left to right, up to the number line, and then I stop at the last integer before I hit x. Uh, there's actually a name for this. This is called the floor value. I go into that in my book. You could also just Google the words floor value, and you'll learn everything you want to know about that function. So that's what this question is about, and it asks us to apply that rule or that function, floor value, to three different numbers, negative 1.6, 3.4, and 2.7. And then after we've done that, after we've applied the function to those three numbers, they want us to add that all together and see what we get. So I think probably the safest way to solve this is to actually draw a number line and have negative 1.6 on that number line. That's probably the trickiest one because it's a negative number. Of course, if we go from left to right on the number line and stop before we get to negative 1.6, we actually stop at negative 2. So that's the result of that first function. It's negative 2. And then for the following terms, it would be 3 and 2, respectively, right? The, the greatest integer below 3.4 is 3, and the greatest integer below 2.7 is 2. So we had negative 2 plus 3 plus 2, so the negative 2 and the 2 cancel out, and the answer is 3. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.